So tell us a little about where we're going right now. What are we going to see right now? It's a, more than 11 miles. Correct. It's 11.4 miles of, uh, of river and um, land border. Okay. This area is belongs to the El Paso station, which is one of the stations in the El Paso sector. Um, this area is probably the busiest area in the country at, at the moment with illegal entries and, and so forth. When you say a lot of activity, I mean, what are we talking about on a daily basis? For the most part, it's single adults. Um, usually, for the most part, they're Cubans. Uh, family units are some Cubans. For the most part, they are Guatemalans, El Salvadorans, Hondureños, uh, from Nicaragua, pretty much that Northern Triangle region. Why so much activity from just those three countries? I mean, is the word out that if you're coming from that region, you're going to probably be able to stay? The word is definitely out. I mean, they have advertisements by radio. You listen to your radio on your way to work, on your way to the grocery store, and um, that country's advertising. Uh, if you want the American dream, we'll help you out, and uh, we'll help you. We'll, we'll teach you how to get it in the United States. So here's there's Mexico on the south side, Mexican Highway. They just run across the river, and they look for an agent. I mean, the river's dry right now, right. so it's easy to get through. Correct. Mexico is right over there. Yes, ma'am. And then, of course, they run up. Who is this running right here? This is a family group that, that, that's just crossed. A family group is just crossing while we're right here, right yes. now? Yes. Who is that for? No? Okay. Uh, just west of the Chihuahua entrance. Where were you going to go? What was your plan? Where, where are you going to go? Did somebody tell you in Honduras that you would be able to stay and get to Oklahoma if you crossed? Alguien le dijo en Honduras que podía cruzar por aquí y irse a Oklahoma. Sí. Sí. ¿Quién le dijo? Mucha gente. A lot of people told me. We have another group that's coming up over here. Basically, walk till they find an agent and they turn themselves in. So they want to see you right now. Definitely. They want to get apprehended. Like I they said. They want to get processed. They want to get processed, given the papers, then they go north, and they have legal papers to be wherever they're going to be at. It, the cartel attempted, or attempted to kidnap his sisters. So they, they screamed out of, out of fear, and uh, of course afterwards they ran. They were to evade. Because the girls were screaming. Because their girls were screaming, so, and, and they ran, and they were able to, to prevent them from being kidnapped. They're by themselves. How long Got, have they been traveling by Anita? themselves? She's 10 years of age, Tormanita? 10 years of age and eight. 10 and eight, and you've been traveling alone for how long? Okay, Mija. Yeah. Okay, Mija. Okay, they were traveling. Um, their mom set them back, set, or set them down. She said she was going to go buy something for them to eat and never returned. How long has she been traveling with the baby? ¿Usted tiene cuánto viajando con la bebé? ¿En dos meses? Dos meses, two months. Two months. Took you two months to get here from Ecuador. So this is a, the, ba the baby is, is, is hungry right now because she hasn't eaten and as a result of that, then she can't produce um, any breast milk for, for her child to eat. What danger the kids are in? Undoubtedly, man, undoubtedly. Mm -hmm. 10 years and eight years of age. And for two months, this infant is in his mo her mother's arms. For... So this whole area was being controlled by the drug cartel? Yes. And then the bollard fence went up? The bollard fence went up. As a result of that, now you have children, as you see here, coming out, playing. You have families going out for walks. It's a baller-style wall. It goes down four feet, 18 feet high. Inside, it's literally hollow. Then we put rebar in there and then fill it up with concrete. So there's nothing hollow, but... 
completely solid. So the drug cartels in Mexico know exactly the border, know exactly the vulnerabilities. Yes. And that's it. They just know. Yes. They're going to do what they do. Yes. Wow. And of course, they're the ones that are winning this. What do you say when you hear in the media that they're saying this administration, the border control, ICE, they're putting kids in cages, they're locking people up, these are humanitarian crises. What do you say to them? I say first, I'm a father. I'm a father of two children. I go home with my head held high, knowing that I don't do any of that stuff. All I can do is do my job and do it to the best of my ability. And that's what we do as an agent. All our agents, 